I need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pippin, your bitch. I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck with my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, man, I got something for y'all. Feel some type of way. And I think I have a right to feel some type of way based off <clears throat> the results of the other day. I have props, of course. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> My boy had to let it be known. And I'm down, America, I'm down here in the deep south. I'm down here where the New Orleans Saints play. I'm down here where the Saints will come to Jackson, Mississippi for their training camp, camp back in the gap. So I'm down here ripping, and I don't give a damn about it. Y'all saw what happened the other night. And I got a question for my brothers. Who's the better quarterback career-wise, Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees? Because I'm going to tell y'all right now. I don't think Drew Brees deserves to even be in the same sentence with Aaron Rodgers. Yes, I said it, Joe. Yes, I said that because I'm sick of it. I'm gonna say my piece, and y'all come for me. Y'all, y'all tighten me up. Do whatever y'all think y'all need to do. But I'm gonna goddamn say it. This man has had Sean Payton down in New Orleans the whole damn time. We didn't have Mike McCarthy. Y'all see, we just we done a previous segment. Y'all just getting on Mike McCarthy ass. What? This man that played in a dome the whole time down there in New Orleans. Aaron been up there playing in the freezing fucking cold. Fucking fingers be numb and shit trying to throw the ball to motherfucker. This man that had skill guys the whole time down there. Guys that you're going to pick in fantasy when your first or second round draft pick that's what that man had down there this man been down there drew Brees. i'm speaking of he didn't lead the league in interceptions or been close to leading the league in interceptions and stuff like that aaron barely throw 10 interceptions in a in two years let alone one year and folks keep trying to slurp this man drew Brees. he don't get none of the smoke that aaron get for having one Super Bowl appearance and one win. Both of them got one apiece. But Aaron gets killed for that. And this dude don't does not. And I don't like it. Drew Brees has zero MVPs. Zero. My boy got two. Now, some folks who don't watch football... Don't see this segment and say, the fuck this motherfucker talking about? This motherfucker don't know each other. Look at the stats. Drew Brees passed for more yards than Aaron Rodgers the other night. Bitch, if you watch the game, you'll see that man was throwing them short-ass routes and Kamara motherfucking ass was goddamn doing the Michael Jackson around, folks, and taking his ass on down. Most of them yards were rack yards with Kamara just being, that boy, they're different. That, that boy different. Aaron, on the other hand, was actually slinging that bitch downfield to undrafted free agents. No Devontae Adams. He throwing that bitch to undrafted free agents. And we still go get that dub. I'm dropping the mic on that motherfucker. I think I'd make the point. They need to go with my boy. And Stanley Earl Lynn, my brother that's serving our country right now. Shout out to my boy. He texts me. He said, I need to stop doing segments on Aaron Rodgers. Hell no, I will not stop doing segments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aaron Rodgers. Y'all see they have my boy in prime time. They have him in prime time for a reason. Because we are prime time. But, T, I'm going to go to you first. And you are the one. This is the man who gave me Aaron Rodgers. This is the man who told me to do. We're going to do. I keep telling you. This man knows the game. He be seeing shit. He, I don't know how he does this. But he, I was pissed. Yeah, I can't lie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You I thought we 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 should have got like a skill guy or something like that. We had Brett Fall, who I used to love. Now I see he a mega motherfucker. I don't fuck with him no more. But back then I was like, what the fuck are we doing? And T said, "Hey man, it might cold." He be so chill with the shit when he be telling me shit too. Hey, by man. the way, hey man, I I watched them cookers at Southern Miss. Oh, by the way. 
Let us know. That's that's true. Did we see Beast Mode live as well? Dude? He, was, he was there too, I believe. We didn't know what we were watching. Nope. We did not know. Damn. We cooked us though. We had a nasty bunch. But what what do you say to who who will you take career wise? Career wise, Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees? If you go say that, if you're gonna title this as better QB, better QB, it's got to be Aaron. It's got to be Aaron. If Aaron played under Sean Payton, he'd have three bowls. He might have three I agree. bowls. I agree with that. He might have three Super Bowls. But Aaron, when you talk about everything that you want in a quarterback, decision making, arm strength, accuracy, mobility, uh, he's shown that, look, I'll play hurt. Uh, I don't know of games where Drew Brees played hurt, banged up. I guess he's played a couple few games where he was kind of nicked up. I, I do kind of remember something like that. Mm -hmm. But A Rod, it I'm not gonna say it's not even close, but now I'm gonna say it. it's not even close. Aaron and Drew, it's not close, it's just not close. Aaron is just a tactician. I mean, when you talk about somebody. That just want, all you got to do is your job. That's it. All you got to do for Aaron Rodgers is your job. Run your route. I'm going to get you. I'm going to hit you. He's the guy. He's been doing it year after year. There's countless highlights you can go back and look at. I think it was the Bears. I think when they were in, when he was, when he got hurt. Mm -hmm. Leg, I think. Yeah. That Bears game. And they thought, well, Green Bay, I think Green Bay had to have that game. To make the playoffs or something like that? Yep. No, 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 week one. No, no, no. I'm talking about later in the year. He got hurt and they played the Bears and he was banged up. He came back kind of earlier than expected. Mm -hmm. And it was for either the division, either they had to have that game for the division or something. And he was out there hobbling mm -hmm. and making plays, literally making plays. And the only thing that people have a problem with, and I said it, I said it last week. They need to stop disrespecting this man in the media because he don't give you click shit, clickbait. He don't give you something to, to write home about. He tells you what he really feels and how he feels about things. And you have to appreciate that. At least he ain't fake. But a lot of media want that that little sound bite or that whatever from him. You know, he wants, I guess they want him to kiss their butt or whatever. Aaron ain't here for that, man. Aaron's about winning. And right now, he's kind of looking like they could be NFC champs right now. Oh, don't say that. And, don't get, and I'm saying that right now. I, I ain't scared to here. say it. I ain't scared to say it. But they took something from last year, from the ass whooping we gave them last year. They I took that. Did. They Lord, took that, and they internalized that, and they are coming out this year with a problem. They got a problem with the NFC right now. Just saying. But it's not even close. Aaron, Aaron's a better quarterback. It ain't even close. Joe, who you taking? A Rod or Drew Brees? Y'all being so disrespectful. Not even close. Drew Brees. I, 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 I defended my point. If I if I had to choose one, I'm choosing Aaron. But I do think there is a comparison. Okay. Um, Drew Brees this year, I do think uh, maybe Father Times is catching up. I, I think that's why we're seeing a lot of the short passes because. When I think back to the days of the Marcus Colston, like he was actually pushing the ball down the field. The Brandon, the Cooks, he was actually able to throw that deep ball like that. And, you know, even when we was talking fantasy, Drew Brees was one of the guys that you're going to go for because Sean Payton going to let him throw the ball, and he was dissecting defense. Um, But Aaron Rodgers is better. He can, he can make all the throws. He can run with his legs. Um, as you said, two MVPs. You can't argue with that. Um, the Super Bowls, 1-1. One, one. I do feel Drew Brees did have better weapons. But, but I do think it's a conversation. And what I would say about the city of New Orleans, I only been to one NFL game. That was the 49ers versus Saints. I tell people this all the time. If I was not a Niners fan, I would definitely be a Saints fan. Really? Man, I expound on that. Listen, the atmosphere down there, 
is crazy. I don't know if it's the music and 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 all of that, but it's just something that just grab you. And that city is definitely together. Like they they man together. Okay, I, 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 I want I want to I want to come to you on something then, and then I'm gonna okay. get you on this too, T. Cause you went down there to a game, right? Uh oh shoot. Have I played watch the Saints play? I thought you told me that might have been basketball then. I think it was basketball. Okay. Was well, uh uh in that game the other day, we did have uh COVID 19 was in effect. Mm -hmm. Aaron was able to get us some big plays in terms of drawing guys offside. He wanted the best in the game at that or using the hard count and getting guys offside. Right. That probably wouldn't have happened if what you're describing was in effect, Joe, with the crowd and, and you know, saying the ruckus nature of that goddamn dome. and all that. We probably would have been in the silent count. Uh, how much of an effect do you think the lack of fans is having on this season? Like, again, I'm saying that still to stay on topic. Mm -hmm. We saw that in this game. Right. I, I, I do think it, it's actually having a big effect. Uh. I'm not gonna say for all teams though. Okay. Like uh Seattle. We know that the crowd goes crazy in Seattle and they feed off that. Right. Like I, I really think without the fans, like even in okay, let me kind of in in the NBA, right? Without being in a bubble, if you let me shoot on the same rim over and over, my my jump shot gonna be nice. Right. You know what I mean? So the the NFL without the fans, because I think the players really, really feed off the fans. Yeah. Like they they enjoy the getting a touchdown and going and interacting with the fans or even the fans booing them. Like I think Aaron Rodgers loves that. He loves being in that type of environment. Yeah. So you I, think I we, do you think we pulled that one off the other night if the fans were there? I do because I I, I don't believe Drew Brees is the same Drew Brees we know. Now they showed a stat. And I get both of y'all on this. They showed a stat saying that for a minute now, he been he ain't been really pushing the ball down like they like for the last three years or so. He been like eight yard routes and shit like that. And that maybe that may be why they got rid of Cooks. But if that's the case, why would you get Emmanuel Sanders? Because he likes to take the top off the defense. But and during that game, the commentators kept saying that Drew Brees ain't really. Uh, developed a rapport with Emmanuel Sanders too. He hadn't. Um, you can see it. it. It's not there. Yeah, they're not it's definitely not there. Yeah, they're not clicking. They're not clicking. Anyway, I think in one of our group texts, uh, maybe that was Clay talking about how Michael Thomas is just you know Michael Thomas been, just been running them ten yard routes. Yeah, <laughs> that yep. we know. Eight and outs, eight and in. Yeah, kind of like Mike Irvin back in the gap, ain't it? I don't <laughs> remember Mike Irvin taking no top off. But shit, you need that first down, Mike Irvin. Go get that bit. You know that was that that was Alvin Harper that was taking the top off. Yeah, that's right. That is true. That is true. Well, uh, I'm glad to hear y'all brothers put it on wax. Yeah, it's to show who who that real <laughs> over in this thing. Now oh, I got to get get y'all to come around on that Mahomes boy because it seemed like y'all thinking Mahomes, Mahomes, and Russell Wilson. My boy and Rod got them motherfuckers too. Uh, stop it. No. <laughs> stop it. No. Uh, no. but hey, as far as the media, uh, you know, the media gonna choose Breeze over uh Rogers because you, you know we all said Rogers is a butthole. Do you think it's the market too though, Joe? Because it's it's just like he don't get he just don't get a lot of criticism. Drew Brees does not nah, but but you know, after you okay, so I, I, I believe Breeze get the Bron treatment, right? Bron brought a championship to Cleveland. Breeze oh, won it. Hurricane yeah. Katrina. Like, okay, you know how we say uh, Paul Pierce then got a lot of mileage out of his one Super Bowl? Yeah. Breeze yeah. got a lot of mileage out, out of that Super Bowl because of Hurricane Ooh. Katrina. And so even though they both got one bowl, it's kind of like, his one bowl in New Orleans kind of it is greater hands out over the Green Bay one, but that's the hell of a point. The narrative, like hell of a point. I ain't never heard nobody make that one. Yet. That's true. 
I ain't got no argument. Yeah. Got a lot of truth to it. Real ass shit. That's what we do here. Hot, hot take Joe. That's him. That's the guy. <laughs> Go. Go. Subscribe to our daddy's YouTube channel. He's the best. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications.